the unboxing, you probably know by the title. It is the Harry Potter book set. It consists of eight books. It's the original seven and plus the one book, which is the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So let's get to unboxing. Okay guys, let's open it. This is the moment of truth. Oh, oh my god. So first off, we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Here it is. It has the Phoenix, or I think there's a Phoenix. But uh, here's the side, here's the spine, and here is the back. So this is, a, this is one of my favorite covers, probably number two. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Here is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is the front cover. It shows Harry and Dumbledore, which is Dumbledore's like one of my favorite characters. And here's the spine. And here is the back. It's just like a goblet and green stuff. But um, this is my favorite cover because the, the artwork for Harry's um, face is so dramatic. So it's like, so cool. Anyways, let's go to the um, next book. And this is the last and final book. This is the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Here's the spine. Here's the back. And here is the front again. So, this is one of the darkest books actually. If not, the darkest book in the series. And it shows uh, Ron and Hermione in the front getting into Bellatrix's Lestrange's bolt in. Green Gox. So, and this is the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. This is the spine, and this is the back. So, this is the um, featuring uh, Harry Potter's son. I think it was Albus Potter, if I'm correct. But anyways, let's go to the uh, other books that we left out because they're all wrapped. Okay, this is the first ever book. Which is the shortest book, I think, in the series, yeah. It's only 224 pages, I think. This is the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. In the cover, you can see the uh, King's Cross train to Hogwarts. And this is Station 9 and 3 Quarters. So you can see Harry, you know, fascinated all about the train. And in the back, this is the spine. And in the back, we see Dumbledore and uh, just a uh, summarizing of the book. And here is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So this is a very, very cool book because we learn about Tom Riddle in it. And Tom Riddle is one of my favorite characters too. And the actor who played it in the movie is so good. Anyways, here is the cover. You can see Ron and Harry and Hedwig on the uh, flying blue car by Mr. Weasley, which he enchanted so it can go invisible and can fly. And this is a multiple car, by the way. And this is the spine. And here's the back. Again, just a summarization. And here is the third book, which is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This is like my third favorite book in the series. And here is the cover. You can see Ron and her, I mean Harry and Hermione on Buckbeak is a hypocrite. And this is the spine and this is the back. Anyways, let's go to the uh, final book we are about to tell you. So this is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This, guys, 
is the cover and this is my actual favorite book because it introduces the other universities of well school of wizard and witchcraft so and it's also introduced us to the tribe wizard tournament and it also brings us to my favorite couple cup search diggory anyways here is the cover the spine and here's the back and so uh yeah that is my new harry potter collection that i just unboxed today anyways i'm gonna just set this by order first so anyways here's the harry potter and the philosopher's stone check harry potter and the chamber of secrets check harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban check harry potter and the goblin of fire check okay um harry potter i think it's in the bottle Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And finally, our last book, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So, yeah. And that is my Harry Potter book collection. And I bought this book set because I really love reading. And I really love the Harry Potter movies and I said I don't want to watch the movies only because there was a lot left out from the movies that was in the books like uh, Dobby in the Goblet of Fire but we don't actually see Dobby in the Goblet of Fire movie so that's why I wanted to buy this because not only did I want it to read but because I also wanted to find out little easter eggs that wasn't in the movie so yeah Thank you for watching today's unboxing video. I hope you liked it and see you later. Bye!